These are the Greatwood and Horseclose estates on the outskirts of Skipton. I've lived in this area for just over 74 years. So I've watched Horseclose being built. I watched it developed right up as it stands now. If you live on one of the estates, there's a good chance you're watching these short films. And perhaps you may even be in one of them. My name is Sandra Davenport and I've lived on this estate. I was born up here when these houses were first built. Grew up on the estate, loved every minute of it. And is this, is this, a, is this a good place to live? Is it a good area to live in? Oh yeah, I think so. It's like anything when you see it day in, day out. Um, sometimes you need to be reminded of how great it is. The purpose of these films is to prompt questions about what life is like here and to dig into the needs and opportunities of the neighbourhood. Well, I know, it, I know it's a close-knit community. Uh, I don't know a great lot of actually what goes, in, goes on actually in Greatwood, but I do know that a lot of my customers live there. Hopefully, through talking together, we can come up with some ideas that will make a real difference. A government study of deprived areas in England suggests that the Great Wood and Horseclose estates are in the bottom 20% in the UK. But what does that mean? Some people don't believe the figures. Others think it's worse than they show. What do you think? The facts show that unlike other estates in similar categories around the country, the quality of living here, the environment, crime levels and community safety are all pretty good. North Yorkshire is um, the lowest crime uh, county in the country uh, and Craven especially is um, you know, particularly low in crime. It's a great place to live. Um, here on the estate it's, it's our work with partner agencies, the Yorkshire Housing, uh, the local council and I mean the neighbourhood watch particularly. In fact Skipton was named as one of the best places to live in Britain. On both estates more than half the residents have either no qualifications or have not progressed their education beyond level one. What does this mean for young people? Is it holding them back? What do you have to be? A doctor. And just like cure cancer. I imagine me being an RAF pilot because I think it would be good because I'll be saving the world, our country and helping sur people surviving poor conditions. Open my own salon for a hair and beautitionist. Um, I would like to grow up and be a famous woman and get lots of trophies and medals. Um, I want to be a wedding designer. I might want to be an engineer. I would like to be a vet because I really like looking after animals and I'll have to go to university to study looking inside of animals' bodies. I would like to be a famous badminton player. We want to see children being proud of what they have achieved and that they're achieving it for themselves, not just for, for the teachers or for the parents, but for themselves. And that sense of kind of ownership is what really moves on in terms of the future that they're, they're proud of whatever they achieve in and I think the, the, the fundamental aim of the school is to tap into every child's interest somewhere at least through the school um, and uh, you know find that little spark to ignite to, to that will hopefully give them that um, encouragement and confidence so that whatever they want to be and you'll have heard quite a few different suggestions about future careers that they can achieve that. Many people are proud to live here lead happy lives and are working hard for each other. And I feel safe like walking down to school because um, yeah. I walk to school and I feel safe. And I feel safe because even though I don't live here I just go out at 20 past 8 to go and see my friends but I feel safe because I'm in a nice environment and I know my friends, parents live near me and they all know me so I just feel safe and protected. Did you feel there are a lot of people looking out for you? Yeah. I've spoken to a lot of children, especially earlier on in the, my headship here, um, who just asking them in the playground and you know informal times what what they felt about the area and uh, 
you know, did they feel lucky to live here? And quite often the answer is no, or at least they didn't. They weren't quite sure. And I think when I've pointed things out and just said a simple thing is just standing on our playground and looking up at that view, uh, many children in this country don't have that. And I think it's like anything when you, you see it day in, day out. Um, sometimes you need to be reminded of how great it is. In the safe place to play, um, everybody looking out for each other is really important for families to be able to know, you know, the children are safe. Outside of school, I do a girls' football club um, in, at Sandylands in Skipton. Um, out of school, um, I go to a running club on a Monday night at Silsden. And then on a Tuesday night, I go to Brownies and um, it's St Andrew's Church and then at school I do choir and street dance. And here's a great example of one parent who encouraged her son to join a charity run. My mum signed me up for it. We had to run 5k, three and a half miles. How many people were involved? 1,218. I came in the top 50. And what did that make you feel like? Happy. There's plenty of evidence to suggest that uh, young people are getting involved in good causes and that across the generations, uh, aunts and uncles and grandparents are getting children to be more community-minded. It makes me feel proud of myself and happy because um, I do like helping other people. Um, so, yeah, it does make me feel happy and proud of myself that I actually help that person. These long-established families are well-rooted in the community. But what about families coming into the area? Do they feel welcome and supported? This is what some young Polish mothers who use the community centre had to say. I felt um, that this this area is really friendly and people are really friendly. Uh, my experience is really good straight away. Um, first when we came, uh, I had a visit from health visitor and I was really surprised that somebody would um, care so much about us coming here. So it was really nice. What do you hope for the future for your children? I just, uh, I came here with my children so their future is better than mine was in Poland. So I just hope for that for them. I really appreciate how this community centre is trying to um, interact with Polish people and sort of invite them into the community. Um, I've noticed it, you know, for a couple of years now when we've done the Polish Christmas um, and they always are welcoming, inviting, you know, and want to learn the culture as well. Um, to understand it a little bit and, uh, and I think it's really nice that they try to make people feel like they're part of something. Oh dear. When you're on your own you get very, very lonely and it's nice to come out and be able to have a chat and a talk to somebody and uh, because the weekends are the worst when you're in but you've got to make your own push whereas a lot of people around here don't. You do, you do loads, don't you, to support groups. I mean, what, why do you do that? To help people that's lonely. To help people that's fastened in their homes, you know, that uh, wouldn't otherwise not go anywhere.